Hello, I'm Evan Davidson, joined by my co-hosts Brianna King, Mackenzie Smith, Hope Messersmith, Stephen Conrad, and Kevin Santo Padre, and this is Millersville Multimedia. COVID-19 restrictions becoming more relaxed, people all around Lancaster are looking to travel. Whether it be near or far, the Lancaster train station provides affordable transportation to various cities in PA. Join Hope Messersmith and I while we give you a look at the train station and maybe even convince you to get out there and take that trip you've been pushing off. With COVID restrictions lifting, many are eager to start traveling again. The Lancaster train station provides a fast and efficient way of traveling for locals. The Lancaster Amtrak station serves the Keystone and the Pennsylvania routes. The Keystone route runs between New York and Harrisburg, while the Pennsylvania route services between New York and Pittsburgh. These services run daily from the Lancaster train station, providing passengers with affordable fares and reliable means of travel. The convenience of these services will hopefully motivate Lancaster locals to branch out and travel to neighboring cities. There is so much to see out there. Art, music, new views, new faces, and new places. The station is located on East McGovern Avenue, Lancaster, PA. Make use of the Lancaster train station and get out there while you can. Remember to grab your chargers, wallet, and mask before heading out. Stay COVID cautious and safe travels. I miss traveling, that's for sure. But before you pack your bags to travel or even move, there might be some things around your home that need your attention first. Need help spackling a hole? Well, Evan and I have you covered. As the semester comes to an end, so does off-campus housing agreements. And if you're anything like us, there's a few things you have to fix before your landlord does an inspection. This is how to spackle a hole. For this project, you're gonna want a spatula, a sanding block, some drywall compound, some paint, and a paintbrush. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the nail, which in some cases requires a hammer, but not this one. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to sand down the hole to free up any loose debris. Next up, grab your compound and your spatula and get a nice amount of compound right on the corner. Take the spatula and press it firmly against the wall to ensure that all of the compound fills the hole. After pressing, scrape downwards and remove any of the excess compound. The compound is pink and as it dries, it will turn white. This process should take about 30 minutes. Next up, you're going to want to grab your sanding block and go over one more time before you grab some paint and apply a good layer. If you follow these steps, your wall should look like this and your landlord will be none the wiser. Thanks so much for tuning in and happy spackling. After that hard work, I'm thinking about vacation or even just some fresh air. Steven and I took some time to ourselves and went on a hiking trip. Come with us to get a glimpse of the outdoors.
I think it's important to remember that no matter how busy life gets, not to forget to go outside, enjoy the world around you, and take some time to do what makes you happy. Whether it's finally completing some overdue tasks or getting away for a bit, regardless, we've got you covered. I'm Evan, your host, and this has been Millersville Multimedia.